The Fraser reboot proves the old truism that there are no small parts, only small actors that can easily be replaced. <laughs> Whether due to illness, contract disputes, creative differences, or some other unquantifiable, unknowable reason, an actor can be replaced by the powers that be. Sometimes this makes sense, especially with child actors who grow out of the industry or whose acting is considered ill-suited for an adult version of their character. The Frasier reboot is upholding a long-standing tradition of recasting Freddie Crane. A big part of Fraser's new show is devoted to fixing the fractured relationship with his son, which is inspired by his own experience mending his bond with Martin Crane in Seattle. Instead of bringing back Trevor Einhorn, who played the part in the original series for the reboot, the studio has gone with a new actor, Jack Cutmore Scott. Einhorn is still active as an actor with roles in The Office, Mad Men, and most recently, The Magicians. There's no word on why Paramount Plus didn't bring him back for the reboot, but the recasting Freddy has been the norm since the character's first appearance on Cheers, where he was played by infant twins Christopher and Kevin Graves. Luke Tarsitano played the part in the 1995 episode, Frasier Grinch. The next time that Frasier's son visited Seattle, he was played by Einhorn, who would retain the part until the end of the series in 2004. This makes Cutmore Scott the fifth actor to play Freddy over three decades. Frasier's troubled relationship with his son may have been surprising to those who have followed the pair's story in Cheers and the original show. As seen in the reboot pilot, Freddy has grown to be more like his grandfather, Martin Crane, than his father, which is an unexpected twist. The difference is that Freddy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his father in a way Martin could not, and we're excited to see where the story takes us.